going to start out with a size 8 hook. And we're going to use like a yellowish green thread to match the wings and tail. All right, now we're gonna tie in some steer hair. Parrot done style. We're gonna tie this in. Remember to hold the back part as you put the red wrap it down so it don't flare. Wrap it towards the back. Cut it off at an angle. So you don't have a big balk drop off. We're not putting a big amount of deer hair in this. We're gonna add a wing. We don't want to keep over bulk the fly, so a little skip, a little light on the deer hair. It'll still float like a bobber, trust me. Now we're going to tie in some green dye cap hair. You could use deer tail, deer green dye deer hair, but we're going to put one in on each side representing two green wings on both sides of the, the uh, deer hair. The one towards me, one towards you. adjust your length of your wing. I'm going to tie in a couple of strands of bucktail. A couple of strands of the green grape. And this is a yellow, greenish style. It represents the tail perfectly. I bought this, I don't know, I think it's new herring. But, uh, you know, get your colors with before you go to your local shop and match up your colors. Get deer hair dyed in the colors you wanted or whatever. All right, you want to wrap, put a couple of thread wraps underneath the tail and make the tail stick out for two or three underneath there. Stick the tail. I'd love doing it with the terrible paradigm. I probably, I think I forgot to do a flat couple. It's a good idea to get your tail stick up, even if you're going to catch it. Uh, here's another thing I don't know where I got. This really light yellow green stubbing made to match the 
actual color to fly. I got a lot of dubbing boxes. I can pick them up all the time. That way when I go to tie a fly, I can match dubbing to the actual fly on the water. Like that video, that Caparadon, it's dead. I never seen anybody tie Caparadon with wings like that. So we look forward to more little kind of like added ideas I have from dry flies. So I hope you like that video. You know how it goes. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them wild fish a sore lip.